and welcome. My name is George Gabler, and I am the president of the American Association for Respiratory Care. I would like to introduce you to the Drive for COPD's Adopt a Company program and let you know more about how you can be part of an exciting public health campaign right in your own community. As you may already know, but according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, COPD is now the third leading cause of death in the United States. As respiratory therapists, we play a key role in the management of COPD, and that is why our participation in the Drive for COPD is so important. Here at the AARC, we are gearing up for another year of the Drive for COPD campaign, and we are asking you, the members, to partner with your local businesses by screening the employees of those businesses through the DRIVE's Adopt a Company initiative. The DRIVE for COPD campaign was launched three years ago with the intention of screening the public to find the millions of missing Americans who suffer from COPD but do not yet know it. In 2012, the COPD Foundation, in partnership with the AARC, assumed a leadership role for this campaign. The AARC is urging its members to get out and screen individuals through outreach to local businesses. We're asking you to identify and work with local businesses in your community to screen their employees for their risk of COPD with the tools provided within this website. This intervention would also include education about COPD and self-management of the disease. To get started with Adopt a Company, log on to the AARC's website at www.aarc.org and click on the Drive for COPD logo on the right side of the screen, or you can access it directly at www.aarc.org forward slash drive for COPD. Your first step to adopting the company is to pick a business. No one knows your community better than you, so you know which businesses might benefit most from this program. Examples include restaurants, banks, pharmacies, U.S. post offices, hardware stores, or even the fire department. Really, any business would be appropriate. Think about those businesses and the last time you may have shopped in them or eaten in them. Those businesses may already know you as a customer and may be more inclined to work with you. Those are the businesses we want you to adopt. Now that you have a business in mind, the next step is to reach out to them. Contact the manager, or if it's a bigger business, their human resource department, or perhaps their wellness director. If you're unsure of what to say to them, the AARC has prepared a collection of letters and bullet points to use as a guide for contacting the business. If you go to www.aarc slash drive for COPD, you can find additional tools and resources that you will need in adopting a company. Once you have all the tools ready, call or stop by the business or drop off them some of the material and let them know who you are and why you are participating in the program. You may want to provide them with an, a, an adopt a company prospectus binder that contains information for them as a business owners. To obtain this binder, go to the AARC's Adopt a Company website. If at any point you feel like you need any assistance, reach out to us and we are here to help you along the way. If the business owner or manager agrees, you're all set. Congratulations on adopting a company. Now you want to go and register this company on the AARC's website at www.aarc.org slash drive for COPD. This is where you will go to order your supplies, update your progress, and download additional material for your event. There is a timeline also available that will help you along the way, as well as other resources you will need for your program. It is best to plan this in advance so you have enough time to gather all the material and prepare for your visit.
Now that you've reached out to the management and they are interested in screening their employees, it's time to schedule a date and time for your screening event. When you are looking at when to do the screening event, keep in mind that the type of business that you've selected and the times when they are busiest. Oftentimes, employers and end employees are more apt to do things when it's slower at work. Meaning, if you know that the business is busiest during midday, scheduling a screening in the morning or late afternoon may be more efficient. Ask the management when it is best and where it is best. You want to host your screening event in a location that is easily accessible to the employees, a location that they do not need to have to search for you. Today is the day. Remember to arrive early and make sure you have enough pens for the employees to use. Once you get started, just remember why you are there and who you represent. Our goal is to raise awareness of COPD, and even if no one scores a five or higher on the screener, the day was still a success. If you screened everybody and no one scores more than five, they now know more about COPD and may share this information with friends and family. You're almost done. First, you want to send a thank you letter to the management and the employees for allowing you to go there and provide the screening and education to the business. Secondly, mail back the screeners that you've completed. You gave the employee the top white copy. Now using the pre-addressed envelope provided to you, please mail back the remaining yellow page. We hope after a successful screening that you will continue to conduct more events. Any member of the AARC participating in the Adopt-A-Company program will be eligible to win two VIP tickets to the Drive for COPD 300 in Daytona Beach, Florida in February 2014. From all of us here at the AARC, we thank you for taking the time to watch this video and hope that this answers some of the questions you may have about the Drive for COPD campaign and the Adopt-A-Company initiative. If you have any additional questions, please contact the AARC's Drive for COPD coordinator, me, by clicking on the email address on your screen. Thank you again, and good luck with your screening events.